So when someone sent me that video of Champion in a car park, I just knew I had to go and rescue her. She couldn't survive in that car park. I didn't think twice, I went to get her. My name is uh, Helena and I'm an independent rescuer and feeder. My daily routine is I just feed them kibbles so there's not much of cooking involved. I will drive by Plangi every day after work to feed them. So I will usually feed them on the side of the road or underneath this sheltered car park. A lot of people when they rescue accident dog, the first thing that comes to mind is to put it to sleep. When I was carrying Champi, she was just a puppy and I looked at her and I was like, this dog is so full of joy. She doesn't even know that her back legs are paralyzed. How can I put her to sleep when she's so full of life? She had legs and without legs, she was the same girl. She would want to behave like how a normal dog would behave. So she has her sisters and brothers here. When they run out to greet someone, she runs out together with them thinking that, you know, she can run the same speed. I have experienced people yelling and stopping me from feeding the dogs and a lot of scolding. La. I think I and also many individual feeders have been uh, experiencing this fear of being looked at as criminals. But actually, we are just trying to do the right thing. If you give any animal love, they'll be able to trust you, be obedient to you and also love you back. Adopt and don't shop.